Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Carol Dow from caroldow.com. I am so happy and very grateful that you are here with me. I am a jack of all modalities. I am a master of releasement, channeling, and hypnosis. Welcome. It's my coffee. Um, I wanted to talk today about the Schumann resonance and why it is important to vibrate higher, to let go, to release lower vibrational like entities, thought forms, people, foods, whatever is low vibrational because the energy shifts of our world right now are accelerating. And the Schumann resonance is a, a meter, it's a chart that uh, measures the electromagnetic fields and um, of our earth. And I taught a class yesterday and um, with my two students who have very strong extrasensory abilities. And I was talking to them about the, the importance of understanding our own emotional patterns and energetic patterns as Mother Earth, she begins to accelerate faster and faster. And this isn't this type of like woo woo, okay, like you can't see it, you can't feel it, you can't you can't touch it, it doesn't exist. It actually, it's science and it exists. And the Schumann resonance, just in kind of like a broken down simplistic way, is um, is uh, is telling us that the vibrational state of Mother Earth, she's accelerating faster and faster because the um, the the frequency of our Earth has been more or less been vibrating at a 7.83 hertz. And Schumann, this uh, scientist Schumann, he uh, forgot his first name. Um, he uh, came out with the Schumann resonance in 1952. And ever since 1952, we've been kind of just, Mother Earth's been vibrating kind of more or less at 7.83. And humans, we vibrate at 7.83. So we're, we're aligned with her. But if you are of a lower vibrational state, the earth at 7.83 and you are here lower than her, it's difficult, it hurts, it's painful because you are misaligned with the frequency of our earth. And to raise your vibration to match her, it's about you letting go of lower vibrational emotions and the weight and the excess energies and, low, and, and getting rid of anything that lowers your vibration. Let it be cigarettes, drugs, alcohol, low vibrational foods, processed foods, because now you're trying to let go and create space um, and, and really... Uh, cut off like the anchors that weigh you down so you can lift up to meet, meet Mother Earth. But since 2017, the Schumann resonance has seen a spike um, from 7.83 into the 30s, which means Mother Earth, she's vibrating higher and higher. And if you're down here, it hurts more and more. The last, I think, five to six months, we've been, we've been hitting over 100 hertz in the Schumann resonance. What does that mean? That the earth, she is vibrating and she's accelerating faster and faster. And if you are in a low vibrational state, you are, uh, it, it's painful because now you're being stretched esoterically and you could feel the difference. So why is it important to, to vibrate higher? Because no matter, I don't care who you are, no matter if you want it or not, it's happening. It is happening and it's imperative for you to let go, to release. And then so you can match her frequency so we could all vibrate together. So this is where the 5D world comes into play. As Mother Earth, she's shifting up and she's ascending even higher and higher. And here you are at the same space or maybe you're ascending uh, higher and higher. Great, because now in your ascension process, in your vibration, um, your daily vibrational work to uh, to vibrate higher, you are a we are all able to help shift others to vibrate higher, because we're all one. But there are some people that will choose to stay in this three D world, and they will choose to stay in this vibrational state. And you know what? 
because Mother Earth is vibrating so fast and so much more higher than she ever was, if you, we, there's so many empaths, there's so many of us, and I was one myself too. I just wanted to help everyone. I wanted to bring everyone along, but you just can't because that's going to be weight. It's going to be more weight for you. It's going to be more weight for all of us. And so those who are understanding what I'm talking about, cool, let's go. Let's all go together. Let's all help each other vibrate higher. But we can't make somebody release. We can't make someone let go of something that they are holding on to. And literally, they are creating cuts in their hands from holding on to. We can't. There's no more enabling. It's allowing them to do what they want to do. We bless them and we let go. Um, Because you have to let go yourself in order to vibrate at the same frequency as Mother Earth. Remember, 7.83, that was what it was for years and years and years. Jumped up to the 30s in the 33 hertz in 2017. We are now up into the hundreds. Imagine Imagine the the frequency levels within we three times since 2017, and it's only going to accelerate faster and faster. So where are you on this scale? I was teaching my students yesterday um, about uh, why it is very important to write down your energetic patterns, your emotional patterns, because right now the Schumann resonance is literally telling us, hey, Mother Earth is vibrating faster and faster. We are all energy. We are all frequency. So you need to vibrate higher and higher. And in order for you to understand um, your uh, energetic patterns and emotional patterns, you need to write it down. And so you can see a pattern. And so from there, you could coexist and co-create and and be in alignment with Mother Earth as she vibrates higher, as we all vibrate higher. Because the energetic waves that are slamming our Earth right now, it is it's a lot. It's a lot to handle because the collective consciousness right now, there's a lot of fear, anger, sadness, guilt, whatever it may be. But on the flip side, there's there's a big chunk. It's it's a it's a good chunk of people who are consciously becoming more aware and awake. And um it's not about resistance, it's about it's about becoming the wave. So the energetic pattern, I'm sorry, the energetic waves right now, if you resist them, you lose. And it's about understanding who you are to flow with them. I'm teaching my students who have, um, who have been doing their own work and their own healing and all that stuff. They have uh, ascended in, in, in many ways and they're still vibrating higher and higher and higher. And I'm teaching them right now how to carve their own energetic waves in this energetic ocean that we exist in. Just because you don't feel it, I'm sorry, you can't see it or you can't touch it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. The veil has completely disappeared between the physical and invisible world. The hidden worlds that were behind the scenes we are now interchanging um, between the physical and the invisible worlds. Like we, we ourselves, um, a lot of people who are knowledgeable and versed into uh, with their own extrasensory abilities, we can walk in and out. Um, and then, but at the same time, also if from the hidden worlds and invis- invisible worlds are entities and other beings coming in and out of our world. A whole nother video. Well, I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to talk about that. Um, it was it was something that I was I was thinking about after my class yesterday, and I wanted to share with you guys as I drank coffee this morning. So I hope you guys are well and you're safe wherever you are. Um, and it's about practice. It's about it, happiness. It's not something that um, just falls from the sky. It's a skill. Ascension is not something that is just happens. It's a skill. All these things, your extrasensory abilities, you can hone them. You can sharpen them to a skill. You can uh, vibrate higher because now you're doing daily practices that turn into habits that allow you to vibrate higher. It's all a skill. It's 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 
It's about you putting in the work and effort, not about praying that something's going to fall from the sky. No, it's about you putting in the work on this physical plane and then knowing and trusting on the esoteric fields, on the esoteric, on the spirit realms that your guides and your angels and your warriors of light and your team, your spiritual team has your back. This is about each one of us recognizing that we are souls in a physical body and this is a human experience, but we are so much more and we are so much bigger. So I send you my love and wherever you are, I hope you are safe and very well. Namaste.